So coming up next, it is a Group C clash. The Sunshine Girls from Jamaica will be battling it all for with uh, South Africa's Spa Proteas. And uh, these two teams have met already in five previous encounters at a World Cup with Jamaica having won three of those and the Spa Proteas are two. Could today be that uh, third victory for the Spa Proteas? It feels like a final. And so you feel the nerves, you see the nerves. Hopefully very soon both team, teams will settle. Yeah, well, uh, Fowler settling in. Jamaica is doing so well, preventing Somi from collecting that first phase ball on the center. Oh, ball hit it. Good to see her back on court with the heavy, heavy strap knees. Oh my goodness. But there's certainly nothing wrong with those knees. There's mobility. Oh, good patience. The ball hit her. As a Thunderbird sinks in her first goal of the match. For South Africa and Jamaica, the, it's not, it's really a bragging rights match because both teams will be seeing each other again in second stage. So for me, going into tomorrow, you would want to say, well, I'm number one. Yeah, there's a lot of confidence. Oh, good patience. And lands safely into the hands of Portugal. Can the Sport Proteas equalize? Oh, oh. This is brilliant from Portugal, chasing that ball down, saving it and sinking it. Yeah, so uh, Natanya Wilson getting a talking to there from the umpire. She's going to have to adapt. I think the umpire was clarifying and explaining to Latanya that she's holding the goal attack. Oh, look at this defensive pressure around the circle's edge from the Spa Proteas. Beckford is doing a brilliant job to take that responsibility in the shooting circle. There's a double mark, a sandwich on Fowler. She's stepping up. contact center. Oh, gotta tell you, I'm so impressed by Fowler. Well, not for that, but just how she defends her space in that circle. All four of the top teams you see moving, making, doing rotations, making different combinations. And so Norma, having been able to put this goal defense on uh, in place of Carla, clearly we see South Africa is here with a starting 12 like Jamaica. There needs to be pressure earlier on from the spot pro tiers. They did it in uh, previous uh, passages of play. We just need to continue chipping away at that. Yeah, and the interchange now between Portlita and, Fa and Van der Berg. Van der Berg positioning as a goal shooter and Portlita moving out. It's the leadership in the circle for me, ladies, with Lanise. You can see that she's in charge of that circle. Shamira and Lanise would have been teammates at the Thunderbirds. So I'm sure they're familiar with, you know, each other's styles. But look at this, five players in that uh, mid-third from the Spark Proteas. Putting an incredible amount of pressure on the Sunshine Girls. You have to recycle that ball. Replay, reposition themselves to break through the goal shooting third. I don't think that's the best option to leave. Beckford unattended the shooting percentages of the combination of Fowler and Beckford both sitting at 100 percent that's the standard that's the quality of the Jamaican shooting circle in this match they haven't put a foot wrong Somia makes her way back to center in a Marie Fenton goal shooter. Shadeen van der takes the wing defense bip. Trying a different combination here. Coach Norma Plummer looking for solutions. Try and bring this one back. 20 goals lead for the Sunshine Girls. We're definitely seeing an improvement from the Spark Proteas. They are taking the lead in this quarter, particularly. If we break it down into four quarters. Excellent triangle there, getting uh, Nicole 
across the circle and inside the circle. The game has improved, it's not a one-sided quarter, and this is really what you expect from, from our Spar Portiers. Yeah, and the introduction of Ina Marie Fainton, that circle for yes, me. Forward, off, yes. I mean, she's also a player that is just so dynamic. And she's also giving you range, Ina Marie Fainton, giving you mobility. The clock is ticking away as we're potentially looking for one more goal from the Spa Proteus. The penalty was called and Dalyarte does a splendid job by finishing off a strong 67 for the Jamaican Sunshine Girls versus a 49 of the Spa Proteus. 